Hey, podcast listener, this is the THC Foodie, where you can get the scoop on the business of THC infused foods. If you'd like to learn more about what we do, check out the thcfoodie.com and icecreamprivatelabel.com. Okay, today we have on Jesse Gill. Thank you so much for being on the show with us. She has a really interesting story. Um, about how she got involved in the cannabis community in New Jersey. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That's um, correct. So, yeah. Jesse, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with the cannabis community. Sure. Uh, so, thank you guys for having me on. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. I started, you know, I was just a nurse, and I didn't smoke at all. I was pretty reluctant to it, um, and I was injured one day at work and it totally uh, set my life on a new course and I suffered for a long time. I'm, I still have a lot of issues from my injury. Um, I had surgery, a spinal fusion, didn't help. It actually made my condition worse and I was taking opiates so like around the clock and Valium every six hours and uh, it sucked. It was, it was really, really horrible and they said there was nothing they could do. And a friend of mine came and said, you should really try medical marijuana. And I was like, are you crazy? Like, I'm, they've given me morphine and morphine doesn't help me. So how is, like, weed going to do anything? And my mom was like, you, you really need to try this because you've tried everything else and nothing's helped. So just try it. So I did and I was blown away. The very first day I started, I stopped taking the Valium and opiates. And, um, you know, it hasn't cured me. I'm not magically better. I still can't drive. I still have a lot of limitations. Um, I still have a lot of pain, but my quality of life has skyrocketed. I mean, it's, it's been massive, a massive difference. And I was just amazed. And I was, all I could think is, I am a nurse. And I, I was a hospice nurse. And I didn't know about this medication and so many people didn't and even the doctors I had seen had no idea about how effective it could be and I just started writing and I said let me uh, I was actually health uh, writing about health at the time and I started writing about cannabis more and more and eventually I transitioned into marijuana mommy and it's been pretty amazing marijuana mommy.com that and correct. when did you start that I mean how many years ago was this uh, so Marijuana Mommy is brand new. Marijuana Mommy started officially January, February. I transitioned over and I actually had started originally cannabis blogging on my old site, which was Flustered Mom. And that was like a combination of a lot of um, holistic health information because I'm also a holistic nurse. And then it kind of transitioned into marijuana and then I just totally changed it all over and now all of my new content is focused on cannabis. I'm curious what your flustered mom audience, what their reaction was to your cannabis blogging. Uh, it was so gradual. So, uh, you know, I definitely lost a, a good number of readers and, um, but I think most of the people were pretty, um, intrigued by it, especially the way my story came about, and I kind of very slowly transitioned into talking about cannabis, so it, um, you know, my topic's been a lot better since I became cannabis-focused. How common is that to have a specific strain to tr- treat your your condition? Very common, very common. Um, a lot of patients find specific strains, and I always recommend to patients, like, if you try medical marijuana and it doesn't help you, try different strains because they can be vastly different, vastly. Um, Same thing with cannabis-induced anxiety. A lot of times, you know, it could be either from overindulgence or overconsumption, which is very, very common, Um, but it's also common for people to just have reactions to specific strains. There are specific strains that I cannot tolerate. It absolutely increases my anxiety. But, you know, there are strains that make me feel amazing. So it's, it's very, very individualized cannabis medicine. Challenges that you face as a dot-com, um, as a, a, like as a mommy blogger who's blogging specifically as 
um, as a cannabis mommy blogger? Sure, the, um, the stigma is probably the biggest challenge, and that's really the biggest thing about, you know, that's what marijuana, that's what I started Marijuana Mommy for, it's to fight the stigma against cannabis and cannabis users, um, because this perception that, you know, medical marijuana is, you know, like you see on TV of, you know, a stoner movie, and that's what people think it is, and it's not like that, and the, uh, the irony is there are so many people who are using it themselves, but they still, you know, they're scared to be open, they're scared to talk about it, they're scared to be up front, so it, you know, it, uh, that's kind of what the point of Marijuana Mommy was, just to show that there are other associations to cannabis than what's been traditionally out there. Do you have a favorite recipe that you like to make? I love um, just, you know, I love keef cookies. <laughs> um, I started collecting my keef, and a friend of mine told me about it, and it's just, they're so easy to make, and uh, there's very little weedy taste, but you need a good collection of keef to, um, I have the recipe on my, on my site, but you just put it basically a little well into the cookie dough and put, pour your decarboxylated keef in there and, you know, roll it into a ball and bake it. And they're pretty awesome and just easy to grab and go. Do you have mm. a, a social media profiles that we can share? I do. Um, I am marijuana underscore mommy at Twitter. And I have a Marijuana Mommy Facebook page. And I'm on Instagram. I love Instagram. I post a lot of cannabis pictures. And that's jessiegill.marijuanamommy. Do you have a product or business you want to share? We want to know what you have to say. Leave us a comment on our website at thethcfoodie.com or on Twitter at SafeTHCFoods.